Hi everyone, today we're going to be looking at the Click PLC Analog Dust to Dawn program. Now a dust to dawn sensor usually is a discrete on off for lighting control. And if we want to vary the lights to mimic more of the sunset and sunrise, we would use an analog output to control the lights. I was recently asked about such a program and that's what we're going to look at. So detailed information contained in the video can be found at accautomation.ca. A link has been put in the description below. If you have not watched the other videos yet, there will be links in the description below to start your video one. There will be links to the rest of the videos in the series as well. So up on my screen here, you'll see that we have um, our program that we do for our analog dust to dawn program. Now, when I was asked about the program, they wanted every day, they wanted the lights to go off at 10 p.m. and come back on at 6 a.m. Now at 9.30 p.m. the lights would be on at 70% or 7 volts of a 0 to 10 volt signal. Now in the next half hour, the program will bring the lights from 70% down to 0 and in the morning lights will come back on within the half hour from 0 back up to 70%. Now poultry farms are one place that would utilize a program like this. So if I look up on my screen here, my analog output is actually from DF5 and our scaling 0 to 10 represents 0 to 2540 uh, sorry 2571 and we can look at the, the setup of the program and in the system configuration and what you'll see is that we have our um, analog card right here and if we go to the config you will see that here on my output channel there's my DF5 uh, and my scaling uh, 2571 represents the 10 volts and 0 represents 0. So those cancel out of those so that's how we set that card up. Now we get those uh, numbers by going 0 to 7 volts in 30 minutes which equals 1800 seconds. So and 10 volts will equal 2571 seconds. So that's how we actually get that the, the scaling factor for that. So if we look at the actual program, you'll see that the click actually has a real time clock in it and we have certain registers that actually come up. And so our program basically states that if our hour is greater than or equal to five, but less than or equal to six, then and our seconds is greater than or equal to 30, then we take the one second clock pulse on the leading edge and we start adding. So we'll go up to the half hour, which is the 1800 uh, seconds, which gives us the seven volts on our output. So if that's how it, it actually works. Then after we have the past six o'clock in the morning or 6 a.m. And but we're less than um, eight o'clock at p.m., then we keep that uh, 1800 at zero volts. So that kicks in that part of the program. Then when we look at and we're past eight o'clock at night, but we're less than nine o'clock and we're greater than the 30 um, seconds, we take the one clock, one second clock pulse again on the leading edge and we subtract our value. Then when we are greater than nine o'clock in the evening, or less than 5 a.m. in the morning, then we copy zero back in to keep the lights off. So that's what um, our program is actually doing. So currently right now, you can see um, I have 21 in here, which represents 9 p.m. And our seconds is 45, which uh, so it's 9.45 p.m. is what the PLC is currently indicating. So let's just make some room here. And we can actually look at the um, physical hardware, hardware that we have. We have our Click PLC, we have our Ethernet port located right here, and I have my analog output. And I'm being monitored, or I'm monitoring it with my uh, multimeter here, set for my DC output. So I'll see my voltage as it increases um, throughout that um, duration. So we're not going to wait for the hour in this video here. So what we're going to do is actually go into our PLC program, our PLC on our software. We're going to call up our calendar clock settings. And what we'll do is just adjust them um, so that right now it's set for 
9.46 p.m. Okay, and the first time it's going to go on, it would be uh, 5.30 a.m. So let's go uh, 5, and we'll say this is B29, and we'll say this is 55, and then we'll write that into the PLC. So what you'll see now is that once we get into past the hour and the minute, then, once it's at the 30, it's greater than or equal to, which is correct, it now starts adding um, to our output, which is located right here. And you can see now my light um, source is actually increasing. So it will continue to increase up to our 1800 that we have here. And you can see here that it will take every second, so it's a gradual rise to that full value of the seven volts of our output. So just to prove that, if we go back to our program here and we say here, if it's greater than a six, then what we'll do is actually put 1800 down there. So let's just do that right now. We'll go to the calendar clock again, and we'll, we're going to set this now for, we'll say uh, eight o'clock in the morning. Write that to the PLC, and sure enough, that's exactly what happens. We put the 1800, which is the next step of our program, and we get our voltage out here, which is 6.95, close to 7 volts that we wanted. Then, we see here, once we get to 8 o'clock, so which is 20 on our hour, then we're less than 9 o'clock, and we have greater than 30 seconds. We'll take the one second and we will start to decrement our output. So again, let's go to the PLC. We'll change our clock again. And our clock this time, now we will go to uh, 8 p.m. We'll look at 29 seconds and, or 29 minutes and 55 seconds and we'll write that into the PLC. So we're at 29 right now and as soon as that goes to 30 you will then see that we start decrementing and you will now see that my meter is starting to decrement. Again it'll take half an hour for it to come back down to the zero volts or the lights off again. So we can wait that time or what we can do is we can go back in and you can see that my final line is that once we're greater than uh, nine o'clock, it now puts zero back into that analog output signal. So let's do that. Go to PLC, we'll go to our calendar clock again and let's put in um, 9 p.m. and we'll write that into the PLC. As soon as we do, again, our um, voltage should go back to zero. So once that's in there, and sure enough, that's exactly what happened. We have zero back onto our meter. So that is our analog dust till dawn program. So if you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button below. If you have any questions about the video, please leave a comment below and I'll do my best to answer it. If you want more information about us or you want our free ebooks on numbering systems or robust data logging, please click, click on the link in the description below to get it. A new video is put out every Monday, so make sure you hit the subscribe button so you can get more videos like this in the future. Remember to uh, click the bell beside your subscription to actually receive those notifications of the new video. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you next time.